All right, we're back. Uh, that was the first 10 minutes. The next, uh, we, we, so we've copied the technical role definition, technical profile definition. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit the save button, uh, make sure that it's in our uh, transport. Uh, and PFCG role ID, uh, we already had that. Uh, so bundled up, I already have that name, so uh, we're calling it this name, so we're good there. Uh, other than that, everything else looks good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit the copy button. Uh, specify target entries. Remember, we called it Z Solman Pro. Uh, Z Solman Pro 2 was the uh, nav bar layout. We cha we left the same. Uh, that's going to stay there. PFCG role ID. I have it in Excel. Uh, we already have. Well, we we know this is the PFCG role that this will map to. So anybody that's given this PFCG role uh, will get uh, this business role now. Uh, so we hit enter. Uh, Oops, business role needs to be Z Solman Pro. Almost forgot that most important part. Hit enter. All right, so 354 entries copied. Uh, this is obviously a lot of manual work that you're not going to have to do. Uh, now you're good to go. So when you, if you wanted to, you could uh, adjust. Uh, you could adjust the the business role to. Uh, show things that you wanted to do. Uh, so right now, home is inactive, for example. Maybe I want to make incident management inactive. I'm not using incident management. I want to turn that off. I can do that now because I'm using Z Soulman Pro uh, as my business role. So uh, again, it's very important that we have our own business role, um, and that controls how we uh, when we log into the CRM UI. So I'll create another video of assigning a PFCG role, generating a business partner, uh, and logging in and looking at uh, looking at Solution Manager through this custom business role. Thank you.